Today we are bringing you your hometown tour. WKRG News 5's Peter Albrecht and Debbie Williams are in Loxley. You know, guys, Loxley is a place that has really grown since we were kids. Oh, it's unbelievable. Just in the past couple of years, Cherish, there's really been explosive growth, I would say, Debbie, here in Loxley. Yeah, and that has brought some growing pain. So Stonebridge Elementary School, it is one of the newest schools in the county. It was annexed into the city of Loxley, and as soon as they opened their doors, there were safety concerns. There was congestion around the school, and so now they're starting to do something about that. That's right. WKRG News 5's Blake Brown is joining us now live with some good news. Blake, I know there's a project in the works to alleviate these concerns. Yeah, Pete, definitely good news. You know, funding was the issue initially, and then a supply chain shortage stalled the project. Well, actually, work is going to start on this new traffic light in just a couple of weeks. This is the entrance to Stonebridge Elementary School. The campus opened last year, but the intersection here is missing something that nearby residents say is desperately needed. We don't need any, any crosses and memorial wreaths on that intersection. We need help. We've almost been hit head on twice and many other neighbors as well. For nearly a year, the city of Loxley and the Alabama Department of Transportation have searched for funding, wanting to install a new traffic light at the intersection of Bedrock Boulevard and Highway 31 to make it safer for drivers. When this project was originally bid out, it was close to close to a million dollars, about, about $900,000 to, to get done. But that's because it included a lot of lighting, uh, street lighting, and then it was rebid, redesigned. The lighting was taken out of it, and now it's been brought down to about $461,000. With cost much lower than before, ALDOT expects work to begin on a new traffic light by mid-April. It'll take at least two months before it's switched on, and right now some of the parts are still being delivered. You know, there's been a six-month delay on a lot of the equipment, but fortunately for this project, that equipment is arriving now daily. The project is funded by the Alabama Transportation Rehabilitation and Improvement Program. It's money set aside from state gas tax revenue that's awarded for local transportation projects. ALDOT says $49,630 of allocated funds should be left over once the traffic light project is completed. The city of Loxley will use those funds to add sidewalks and crosswalks later in the year. The importance of the project really is the growth in the area. We know that, you know, US 31 and all the subdivisions in the area uh, have added to the traffic. Uh, there have been some accidents here. There have been some issues. Um, but, you know, traffic studies determine whether or not a signal is necessary. And, and that has come through and it shows that it, it is necessary. That, of course, is going to be great news for residents and, of course, those who travel there for school at Stonebridge. Now, ALDOT does say any street lighting that is added to Bedrock Boulevard there at Stonebridge will have to come from City of Loxley funding if they decide to add that in the future. Pete and Debbie. All right, Blake, great to hear that that situation is getting cleared up.